Well, hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode here on the main track. I wanted to give you an update on how things are coming along with construction. Well, it's obviously been a few weeks. Uh, in fact, I think two months. That's the longest I've gone without a video in quite a while. Uh, that's because I've been pretty busy with construction down here. Now, this is kind of a hard video for me to make. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that likes everything to be completely in its place and finished before I show things off. Uh, things are taking a little longer in the way of construction. That happens a lot with projects. You get busy and then you find other things that take time. So we are coming along. I got a big part of the basement done. So I figured now would be a good time to uh, catch you up on how things are going and give you an idea of what the layout will look like uh, once we get all the construction wrapped up down here in the basement. We are in the very back of the basement right now and we've got quite a bit of work done. Where I'm standing right now is in what used to be a bedroom. Uh, when we moved in, there were quite a few walls down here, two bedrooms, a large laundry room, and some other items down here. So we had to take uh, several weeks, had a contractor in here removing quite a few walls. And so now things are completely open. We got the sheetrock uh, fixed on the ceilings and on the walls. I've got those painted and textured. So we've got that. Uh, the floor is gonna take uh, quite a bit to get done though. Uh, this was carpeting, so we removed the carpeting. We've got some tile that's going to match that. So this will all be tiled. I'll probably have some soft mats down just to uh, help my knees and my feet as we're down here for several hours. Now the basement is kind of, a, kind of an L shape. What we're looking at right here is one wall that is 50 feet uh, from this corner all the way down. So that's going to be a nice long run right there. And uh, when we get the bench work up, uh, you can kind of picture that'll be right about there. Uh, these are some Barina lights that I've installed. I'm kind of playing with those, trying to get those to work exactly how I want. They've been great so far. They're pretty bright, which is a good thing for the layout, but uh, kind of harsh on the eyes. So I'm doing some stuff with some filtering. Now looking back this way, uh, the back of the room, this is about 15 feet across right there. Got a restroom back in there, which will be nice to have here on the ground floor as we're working down here in the layout. Now, I'm still doing uh, some of the planning here, uh, but I have a basic gist of what things will look like. Looking down this angle right here, uh, the layout is gonna go around the walls, and I'm gonna have a large peninsula. We'll kinda illustrate that here in a second, but large peninsula will come down here, and then we'll have another section of the layout coming right down here. So basically when trains traverse this part of the layout, it'll come down the wall, uh, down the long peninsula, way back here behind me, come up the other side of the peninsula, and then uh, down this section right here. Got the large TV right there so I can watch some train videos while I'm working on the layout. This right here is just a section of the old layout that I have up, just so I can do some things like working on the, the DCC system right there, working on some programming for the locomotives. Uh, not sure if this part of the layout is going to make it into the new incarnation because the uh, shelf on the sides right there is going to be quite a bit narrower in most parts, but there will be some spots uh, that are this wide, which is two feet right there. Now, my entire basement, as we mentioned right here, this leg right here with the peninsula is going to go, and the two uh, sides right there will have to build up uh, some sort of a half wall right there to support the layout coming down right here, is uh, 50 feet long, as I mentioned right there. We are 15 feet across right here, and this is the other leg of the, uh, the room. <laughs> this is where my, my big mess is right here. A lot of this is stuff that will be on the layout, also some stuff that hasn't been unpacked yet from the move, but uh, some tools and some extra lumber. So don't judge me, as I mentioned, that was the one request. But coming down here to the end right here, going back, it's about 30 feet, about 20 feet, and then it wraps right around there. Now with the basic dimensions of the room, we're talking here about uh, 50 feet by 30 feet, uh, but I had to make a compromise and cut out uh, about 20% of that. Right in there is the stairwell. You obviously have to have a way to get down into the basement. I've also got uh, a room underneath the stairwell that's going to include uh, just a small office that I can work at. Maybe we can uh, get that all ready for a, a dispatcher's office that we can use during off sessions. Uh, back here I mentioned the restroom and then behind that is the utilities obviously you have to have a furnace and a water heater for the house so these were all necessities uh, that i had to have in there so as i mentioned cutting about 20 percent out but this still leaves me lots and lots of area all right so kind of giving you an idea here we're in the other corner now we'll have uh 
some sort of a lift up or a duck under right there going across the window. Uh, don't use those doors a whole lot. They're kept locked, but uh, we do have a nice area out there for a patio that we'll need to get in and out of. So uh, that'll be a small section that I can, I can lift out, but it'll look pretty integrated with the rest of the layout when that is in place. Looking back toward this direction, you can get an idea of the shelf that'll be back there. Uh, the peninsula that's gonna come out right there and come all the way down here and we'll go down the middle wrapping around and going right back there. So basically we're looking at an around the wall style with a very large peninsula uh, filling in the middle. So the uh, shelf will go right along those windows. Uh, that'll be covered up just a little bit with a backdrop right there. Following that all the way around. We'll have another door probably right there. I have to have another duck under. I was not wanting to have any kind of uh, duck unders or lift outs. I don't like uh, ducking myself. I know that they're kind of inconvenient. I'm 6'5", and it's kind of hard for me to bend over really low, but I had to make that compromise because when I was doing some of my planning on the software and had drawn things out, uh, my initial plan was going to allow me about 200 feet of mainline running, uh, which is a pretty decent amount. Um, but by putting in a couple of duck unders and lift out sections, and building those correctly, I was able to add an additional 100 feet of mainline running. So when it's all said and done, I should have enough space for about a 300 foot mainline. And that is a pretty decent size run uh, for a layout. It's not gonna be the world's largest layout, uh, but as you can see, this is a lot, lot bigger, probably three to four times more space than I had uh, in my former residence, which I had the layout in the garage. It's been very nice having heating down here <laughs> when we had these cold uh, days that we've had in recent weeks, being able to come down here and work and not freeze. And of course, when the summer comes, it's gonna be nice to have air conditioning down here. So that's been a very big plus. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what the layout's gonna look like. Now here's some pictures uh, that I took along the way during the construction, kind of showing what things looked like originally and what things look like now. As you can see, there's quite a difference from uh, when I moved in uh, late last year, uh, right around December with all the walls down here. So the basement was finished, but we just simply didn't need those walls. So that's taken uh, quite a bit of time uh, to get those knocked out and get that flooring torn up right there. And then that entailed uh, redoing some of the wiring, of course, and the walls and the ceiling. So it's been quite a process, but if you ever do a construction project, you know that's how it goes. You tear into something and then you discover something new that you didn't anticipate, and then you have to uh, take more time to get that done also costing uh, more money along the way so just kind of working uh, as the budget and time frame allows and so there are several things i'm still having to figure out about the layout uh, such as the height uh, as i've mentioned before i'm a pretty tall guy six five and so what's an optimum height for me would likely be way too tall for uh, everybody else i've kind of got these measurements uh, put right there. So I've kind of been experimenting of what will work right there. So I'm gonna to have to find a good balance. Obviously I'm gonna be the one down here 99.9% .9 of the time working. So I want it to be comfortable for me, but I also want other people to be able to come down here uh, and enjoy it. You know, friends and families and folks coming over here to, to operate and view the layout. So we wanna make sure it's a happy medium there that everybody's able to uh, take a look at things and uh, not have to be on a step stool to see the top of the layout. I'm probably going to go with about uh, 55 or 60 on the height and that will allow me a couple of things. Uh, I, I did not want a double decker layout. I know that would double the amount of mainline run that I have available to me. Uh, but once again, being tall, I, I don't want to have to bend down. Uh, I've been to some amazing, fantastic double decker layouts, but I didn't want to have to bend down. My compromise with that is going to be uh, possibly a staging yard. So while I have my, uh, you know, layout about the 55 or 60 height right there, I have left enough space where I can have uh, that, that second level, probably along this wall right here uh, for some kind of staging yard. And so who knows, maybe in the future I will, for some reason, change my mind and decide, hey, I need a lot more layout space and may end up double decking it. Uh, but that's the good thing about having it as high as I'm going to, is that's going to provide that space below it uh, both for that staging yard that I am planning, uh, but in case I need it in the future, we've got that space underneath it for a lower level. So I've been playing with a lot of possibilities with my track planning software, uh, but as I mentioned, I'm able to get a basic shape down and I've been working on that. For the track plan itself, I'm actually doing my best to replicate uh, the actual Missouri, Kansas, Texas track plans 
uh, that I got from back in the 1980s. In my original incarnation of the layout, that's what I did uh, for my Sedalia modules that I was constructing. I used the exact track plan, uh, but thankfully using the prototype track plan, that's a benefit is that you don't have to sit here and uh, rack your brain trying to figure out how you're going to fit all the track in here uh, for your main lines and your industries. It's pretty much already done for you, just using what the real thing had. And so that's what I have so far here when it comes to building uh, the second incarnation of my Missouri, Kansas, Texas Sedalia subdivision. Uh, lots of work to do still, and I'm looking forward to getting some of that bench work up very quickly, getting some trains running, and we'll have plenty of episodes coming up highlighting that. We'll see you next time right here on The Main Track.